Hi, and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Klein induction leather gloves, which cost £140 a pair. The induction are Climb's short adventure touring gloves, great for long distance riding and the comfort on them is really the main thing. So the goat high palm, strong perforation across the front, really big punched perforation. Airflow through that is really impressive. What I've found is that just lifting the fingers while riding or dropping the palm underneath the bars means that there's plenty of opportunity for air to flow through. I tested these on a Yamaha Tenere, used them for a little bit of off-road and mostly on-road and these were absolutely great. Loads of flexibility to them thanks to the short construction, it means there's less interference around the wrist between jacket and glove. One of the other main reasons for the comfort of these gloves is the way the fingers are constructed, as well as having an all external seam around the fingers here, so the stitching is all on the outside rather than on the inside, that's a big comfort benefit because you haven't got that stitching bunching up around your fingers. But these are done, so you've got twin seams on each finger, one at the bottom here, one at the top, which means they're kind of formed around your hands. Your hands don't have to extend those seams like they, like they would on quite a lot of other gloves. Throughout the rest of the palm, you've got the extra layer of leather to reinforce around the contact with the handlebar grips, which means that they'll last a bit longer. There's also extra protection for the heel of your palm, which is one of the most vulnerable points in an impact. It's a layer of Kevlar reinforced material for extra abrasion resistance over the top of some Poron XRD foam, which is a open cell urethane foam that's compressible for comfort at slow compression. But if you whack it, then it's got more impact protection about it. It goes hard, that sits there under another layer of leather. So you've got extra protection there rather than having it embedded within. Single Velcro fastener at the wrist, really easy. These are really quick to take off and put back on again. Additionally, there's a pull loop here, which helps you put the glove on and take it off again. Might seem like a minor detail, but what it does is it helps avoid damage to this hem here while you're pulling the glove on. If you pull that on there, you really run the risk of damaging that hem, and it's quite surprising how many gloves are returned because that hem's come undone. Using that pull loop avoids that problem. Elsewhere on the palm, touchscreen compatible overlays at the finger and the thumb. Ideal if you're using a phone as a sat nav, and some sat navs also need that touchscreen compatibility there, and you can use the finger and the thumb for pinch and zoom. Switch into the back of the hand, the same perforations across the back of the fingers that you've got on the palm for more airflow while you're riding, which is a real benefit. The knuckle is protected by a matte finish carbon fiber protector, which is backed by more of that Poron XRD foam that's on the heel of the palm also. This is part of the impact protection, so that these gloves are rated to have knuckle protection and they're level one under the CE standard, which is in common with most gloves. There are some level twos, which is a bit higher, but these are level one. Behind that, there's an accordion stretch panel, which makes it easier to make a fist. It gives you more flexibility there. And across the front, a scotch-like piping, but extra safety while you're riding with an additional panel just at the top here. Mesh material here covering a lightweight fabric area that means that these gloves are gonna run cooler around the wrist. And then there's a quick zip fastener there, which is really handy, it makes these gloves super speedy to put on and take off. And once that's done up, and the tab is pushed down. It locks the zip in place so it can't come undone of its own accord. Boosting the ventilation further, bear in mind that these are for people who are quite active and busy on the bike. This section here at the base of the four shets that sits between your fingers, that's a really lightweight mesh. There's no risk of that ever contacting the road. So it's handy to have that extra airflow there. And again, I felt that while riding around on that Tenere and, and using these gloves. These gloves aren't waterproof. They're not designed to be used in the rain, but Climb have handily added on the left glove on the forefinger here, a rubber wiper blade. Wouldn't see that getting a whole lot of use because they're not really the gloves that you'd be using for long distances in the wet weather, but 
fair play to them for adding that. I'd rather have a blade that I never use than find that I'm looking for a blade that's not there if I get caught out in a shower. After a couple of hundred miles in these gloves, I think these would be absolutely great for a summer tour where I knew I could have a spare pair of waterproof gloves with me. Use them on the Tenere, like I said, and they are comfortable both off-road and on. And where these benefit over a lot of short touring adventure style gloves is that these have a full leather construction. Often you have a synthetic leather palm, which never feels as reassuring to me as having full goat hide like you'd have on a race glove. This has the flexibility of the synthetic leather, but the protection of goat hide. I hope that covers everything you'd like to know about the Climb induction gloves, but if there's anything you feel we've missed, please pop a question in the comments below and we'll look to get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.